Hi everyone, my name is Marika and here is your midweek message. And the focus is going to be on obedience. This was uh, just to catch everyone up to speed. Uh, at Water Street Church right now, we're doing uh, a sermon series titled Called to Be. And we're looking at the attributes of Christ and these attributes that we are called to be as well. So obedience has been on my mind for a few months now. What does it look like to be obedient to God? And that this is really something that he asks of us. And uh, I had an experience this past week that made me think about this even more. And I wanted to share that story with you. Um, I was out for a walk with my dog, Pippa. She is a beautiful black lab and just full of love and has the sweetest eyes. But she can also be very frustrating because she really, really, really loves food. If you know labs, you know that labs have a strong drive for food and Pippa is at the extreme level. Um, you could say that she has the sin of gluttony. That would be her crutch for sure. So we were out for a walk um, down the trail by our house and uh, I, I take my bike and once we get to the trail, she can go off leash and she runs along and does her thing. Every time we get to an apple tree and the ground is now littered with apples, I have to be on her constantly and telling her to leave it. I know that if I don't do that, she's going to fill her belly full of apples and make herself sick. So I know what's best for her, but she doesn't seem to know it. She thinks what's best for her is eating as many apples as she possibly can. And so this um, one particular time we get past the apple tree, I told her leave it probably 10 times and she did. But as we got a little bit further past the tree and she thought I was no longer paying attention, she stopped and I could, and I then turned around and saw her thinking, oh, maybe I can quickly grab an apple yet. And sure enough, that's what she did. She grabbed another apple and then I told her to drop it, which she did, and we kept going on. But this happens several times. And when I got back home, I just felt very frustrated and disappointed in her to the point where I wanted to talk to God about it. God, what are you trying to teach me in this moment? It is just so frustrating that she doesn't listen to me. But right away, God basically said, you know, well, this is how I feel. Um, we as God's kids constantly do things on our own strength, on with our own reasoning. Um, and yeah, there, there's disappointment there. But as we know, as followers of Christ, because of what Christ did for us on the cross, because of his obedience to that, we are forgiven and we experience God's grace. And we can come before him um, in his presence, even though we fail all the time. So it's a beautiful, beautiful gift. And one of the responses that God calls us to out of that grace is to be obedient to him. So this is something that, yeah, I continue to think about, wanted to share this with you today and wanted to give you uh, a challenge as well to think about this, just to think about um, in your own life, where specifically have you um, not looked to God first and instead applied your own reasoning your own strength, perhaps to a choice that you've made or to a situation that you're in. And I encourage you to not be like Pippa and think that you know best, but rely on God and what he has to say. So with that, I hope that's been encouraging for you and helpful and want to just wish you uh, blessings on this week.